All right, well, hello and welcome to That's The Point. We're here for a brand new year to talk about construction technology and specifically getting more from your Trimble technology. My name is Corey Meyer here with Jeremy Horn. How's it going? It's going good. All right, so you're here. So we're going to be talking about layout most likely. We're going to start out with a topic that comes up and a lot of people don't know these features are actually here, but we're going to talk about tools that are located within FieldLink. And, and more specifically, we're going to talk about some stuff that you can do without setups or resections. Correct. Yeah, so, you know, in FieldLink, most of the functions that we're working with are going to require us to do a setup. Or in other words, we're going to have to shoot control points with our total station to locate it on our job site. We have to do that to be able to lay out, to, to collect points as built. However, sometimes there is some value in just taking some quick measurements without needing to do a setup. So there are some tools that we could do a couple different things with that, to me, are very valuable. Yeah, let's do it. So if we jump here in the tablet, you'll see in field link, we're on the main screen. So if we uh, go up to the device icon, uh, from here you'll see uh, all the, almost all the way at the bottom, tools. Uh, so if we select tools, uh, brings us up to, the, uh, to that screen. And to the bottom left, you'll see three icons. So we've got three different tools here to work with. Uh, first one we're going to talk about, which you see highlighted, is the plumb tool. Uh, so the plumb tool allows us to basically check the plumbness of any vertical surface. So if you see here, there's a selection for column or wall. Uh, whichever one we select, we would then shoot a base point, and then wherever we put the laser on that column or wall, it's going to give us an in or out, tell us how plumb it is. Okay. The next one uh, is, it's a tape measure icon, and so it's exactly what you would think. It's just giving us a basic measurement. Shoot two points, gives you the distance between. Uh, so if you need to, you know, just check something real quick in the field, uh, the distance of something you think is supposed to be a certain way, don't want to do a setup, just go hit those two points, boom, gives you the distance. Very and simple. And this is really helpful because, sure, you can pull a tape measure, but sometimes also it's hard to get a tape measure up into some areas and stuff, and that's an easy, quick, and quick way to use your tool for it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, the third one is the benchmark tool, and I would say maybe this one is used the most, at least from the people that I have talked with that are using it. The benchmark tool allows us just to set a zero for an elevation and then just go around and then check a higher low off of that zero. So we could take our rod with our prism, go to an area on the deck, or we could shoot a benchmark line with a laser, and then from there, wherever we put that rod or prism or benchmark, we could get a higher low. It's almost, like a, it's almost like a live topo. You're just getting a general sense of where you are elevation and Z-wise. Absolutely, and it's a very simple way of doing it. Um, and, and I do want to mention, you know, because we're not doing a setup and, and we don't know where the instrument actually is, we're not actually collecting any data. We're not actually going to get any, any po physical points coming from this. Yeah, so you're not going to get reporting. You're not going to get any follow-up. Correct. So it's just live data that you're getting through. But at least, right. but it's, like you said, for real-time information, like it right. can be really helpful. Absolutely. So. In and out. All right. Well, there we go. So, field link tools, like an often uh, overlooked feature within the field link uh, tool set. And then, uh, of course, if you have any other questions, make sure you reach out to your building point representative. Jeremy, thanks for, thanks for doing the kickoff to the new year with us. Yeah, no problem. So, and as always, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.